Hello, Singapore. It is good to be reunited with the XRPL community. So many friendly faces in the audience, but also new faces, as we witness the growth of our community. So if it's your first time at Apex, welcome. And let me tell you, it won't be the last. We're here today to introduce you to the new era of the XRPL with, at its core, the new XRPL Foundation. The original foundation laid a strong framework for the community, for its coordination, validator independence, and ecosystem stewardship. And we're incredibly grateful for the people who helped bring it to life. As the needs of the community have grown, so too has the vision. Over the past year, we've worked closely with community members to evolve the foundation structures, its governance, and operational capacities. As part of this transition, core assets such as the XRPL Foundation domains, the branding, the infrastructure accounts, have been smoothly handed over, ensuring continuity as we move forward with a renewed mission and the resources to deliver on it. We have here on stage uh, the group that really started it. I'm David Fury, the president of XRPL Commons. We're a nonprofit established in Paris and France, and our mission is to elevate the builders of the XRPL community. It is my pleasure to share the stage with the leadership team forming the new XRPL Foundation. Matt Menkins, Interim Executive Director of the Foundation, and the other founding members of the XRPL Foundation. Robert, Robert Kiru, COO at XRPL Labs. Luke, Luke Judges, Partner Director at Ripple. And Fabio Marzella, Manager at the Xiao Dao. Maybe we go for, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Maybe we go for a round of introduction first, Matt. Thank you, David. Um, it's good to be here. I'm Matt Mankins with the XRP Ledger Foundation. It's great to be back at Apex. It's great to be back in Singapore. I guess some things never change. 25 years ago, I was here starting my first company, smtp.com. Today, I'm proud to be back supporting another world-changing ecosystem with letters, the XRPL. Luke? Hey, everyone. I'm Luke Judges. Uh, I'm Ripple's delegated board member. Um, basically, the guy that only, I'm normally the only one that shows up in a suit, but everyone clearly felt the need to dress up for this occasion. <laughs> um, over the past year, I've been supporting the foundation to make a smooth transition, ensuring it has the structure, resources, and strategic support needed to make a meaningful and lasting impact on the ecosystem. Thank you. Hi, everyone. I'm Robert Kiru, the COO of XRPL Labs and the board member of the XRPL Foundation. It's an honor to be here for three years in a row now, representing a powerhouse of a team that many of you know, the makers of Saman, building tools, infrastructure, and products that help move the ecosystem forward. Over to you, Fabio. Thanks, Robert. Hi, I'm Fabio Marzella. I'm the co-founder and manager of the Xiao Dao. The Zao Dao is represented on the board of the XRPL Foundation to give the community a voice for everyone on the XRPL. Robert? Robert, maybe you can kick off the conversation by sharing with the audience the vision for the new foundation. Thank you, David. Let me start by sharing what drives us at the foundation. Our vision is what keeps us grounded, focused, and shapes the way we move forward. Think of it as you would of the North Star. It's always pointing us in the right direction and helping us move forward. The vision of the foundation, as written in the bylaws, is to promote and assist the community, as well as operations of the network, and support the XRPL ecosystem with the overall aim of ensuring that the protocol functions in an open and transparent manner. When we first came together in Paris about a year ago now, with everybody you see on the stage and other ecosystem members, it quickly became clear that everybody is on the same page when it comes to what the foundation basically has to do, what the vision should be. And you see that reflected here on the stage and in the audience as well. And it's not just about values, it's about priorities. And the foundation is here to make sure that the XRPL remains healthy, transparent, and operational, not just in theory, but in practice. That means supporting the people who build maintain and rely on the protocol every single day. It means infrastructure, governance, tooling, 
transparency, and above all, accountability. David, back to you. Thank you, Robert. Uh, well. It's good to set this, the stage with a shared definition of what a healthy protocol is. So in November, when we brought together a group of builders from the XRPL community to understand the, what it should look like. So this included representatives from XRPL Labs, XRP Scan, FreePay, Anodos, RippleX, and others. Uh, and we came up with this definition. So a healthy protocol must be reliable in both performance and safety. And XRPL's core infrastructure, especially RippleD, has proven resilient for over mo more than a decade now, even under high load or attack. Security is not just about encryption, it's about predictable behavior, quick recovery, and resistance to exploitation at all layers. Uh, a healthy protocol must also be trusted and transparent. Trust, not just in a social manner, but also technical. So the XRPL code base is open source, and every upgrade or amendment goes through a public process. So in a nutshell, developers and validators can inspect, they can audit, and they can contribute to the network's evolution, ensuring that it remains accountable and tamper-proof. A healthy protocol is also actively maintained. So the XRPL and the core client, which is called RippleD, and all the ecosystem of tools are actively maintained by a growing community. This includes independent developers, contributors from RippleX, and infrastructure-focused organizations, like the XRPL Foundation. And a healthy protocol just don't sit still. They're actively monitored, improved, and supported over time. Luke, why don't you take over for the rest? Thanks, David. So the protocol also needs to be innovative and remain competitive in the market. The XRPL has introduced a uh, few new features like native AMMs and batch transactions, proving that innovation doesn't have to come at the cost of stability. It continuously evolves to offer developers powerful new primitives without forcing breaking changes on users. It's sustainable. Efficiency is built into the XRPL's DNA. Its consensus algorithm is lightweight, requiring minimal energy, and transaction costs are measured in fractions of a cent. This means it's economically sustainable for both developers and users today and at scale. It's also decentralized. So what does that mean? No single entity can control the XRP ledger today. Its validator network is diverse and globally distributed. Its open amendment process ensures that changes must be supported by a majority of trusted validators, not dictated from the top down. Healthy ecosystems don't live in silos. The XRPL is interoperable. It's designed to move value and data in and out through bridges, cross-chain protocols, and integration layers. Interoperability ensures that the XRPL isn't just a ledger. It's part of a broader, composable internet of value. Finally, we want to make sure this protocol and all of the great technology we've built is used. The XRPL has a healthy community today. There's over 6 million activated wallets. It has vibrant user demand across payments, NFTs, DeFi, and a wider variety of use cases. This adoption at scale creates network effects, builds resilience, and attracts even more builders. With that, I'll pass on to Matt to explain the foundation's assets and what the foundation's been getting up to for the last six months. Thank you so much, Luke. So, so far we've talked about the foundation's vision and goals for our protocol, but to fully understand what we do, let's get concrete. And let's look at some of the assets we manage to support our ecosystem. At first, we own domain names. Our newest is xrpl.foundation. I invite you to have a look if you haven't already. And maybe you know this one, xrpl.org. Uh, this is the source of truth for our XRPL community. Maybe surprising for some of you, we also maintain trademarks globally, including the XRP mark. Of course, we also play a large part in maintaining open source code bases that empower the network, things that we've mentioned like RippleD and several client libraries, such as xrpl.js. Not only do we maintain this, but we also publish them. We sign and publish and distribute these to platforms like NPM and PyPy, to name a few. And this is a wall of text. And this wall of text is very important. It implements the UNL, which is a trusted list of validator nodes that help the XRP ledger reach agreement and create new ledgers. 
The UNL is a key part of how the network stays in sync and secure, and publishing it is a core part of the foundation. In short, we do what we need to keep the XRPL running smoothly, producing new ledgers as it's done every day for the past 13 years. And while the ledger is 13 years old, uh, the foundation was recently formed. So at the end of 2024, we incorporated in France, and since then, we built the board you see here today. The board has set a clear direction for the future, protecting the core assets while collaborating and supporting a global community of node operators, developers, and the financial community that relies on XRPL. To date, we've transferred core assets, such as XRPL.org, GitHub, and held our first infrastructure working group. There's many more to come, including a monthly town hall. So join us at xrpl.foundation to follow our progress. Over to you, Fabio. Thank you, Matt. Of course, none of this would be better without you, the XRPL community. What are we doing for the community here? What we will be doing for the XRPL community will be to support the community in four ways. We will build the tools and infrastructure we will fund developers with grants and programs, and we will connect people through events, hackathons, and meetups. We will lead with transparency and community input. Last night, the ZaoDao hosted our first community event, and for me, this really highlighted how valuable it is when developers and community members can openly share what's needed and what's missing. This is what ZaoDao exists, to help close the gap and turn feedback into action. Now, I'll end over to Luke. Thanks, Xavier. So let's talk a little bit about how all of you can get involved today uh, and contribute to the future of the XRP ledger. So as we've said, the foundation exists to support the health and decentralization of the network. But that mission only works if the community get involved. We need all of your support here today. You'll see a few key working groups on the left. Some of these are already live. So the infrastructure working group, we had 50 participants come down and join. These are where some of the most meaningful contributions happen. It's where you can get your voice heard. And we're currently supporting active groups focused on core development and community as well. Um, the infrastructure has everything to do with validator, coordination for data tooling and resiliency. And there's a few initiatives that we're working on to help really improve the processes. Uh, these, working co uh, these working groups are supporting the background. Uh, you don't need to a full, be a full-time developer. If you care about the future of the XOPL and want to help shape it, there's a seat at the table for all of you. On the right, we have a QR code that actually links to a waitlist for our membership program. So if anyone can get out their phone and scan the QR code, that would be great. Um, I can't wait to see a number of you register to join the foundation. And think of this as a way to stay close to the foundation's mission, contribute to its sustainability, and get more involved in shaping the direction of the ecosystem. Membership isn't just symbolic. It comes with visibility into the foundation's initiatives, access to contributor channels, and the ability to propose ideas and vote on certain governance matters over time via the DAO and other means. So whether you want to write code, offer feedback, contribute infrastructure, or simply help strengthen the ecosystem from wherever you are in the world, we welcome your contribution. The health of the XOPL depends on active participation from all of you, and this is your invitation to be a part of the journey today. Scan the QR code, and I'll hand over to David to take us home. Thank you. Thank you, Luke. That was a quick tour. Uh, but hopefully it gives you a sense of the progress that we've made and where we are headed. So, um, excuse me, organizer, I will just uh, go out of our script for two seconds uh, <laughs> because this is, this is an important step for the foundation and also for the community. Uh, this feels like it's, it's the first step. So I want to I wanna make sure we remember this first step uh, and ask the community to participate because this is the message. Uh, I'll go ahead and... Uh, Take a selfie with the whole room if you allow me to. OK, guys? So try to scoot in. Everyone, if you can give us a big smile, because you're on it. I will let Vet post that on Twitter, because he has the reach we need. Thank you so, so much. Thank you, guys. Oh.